Hello everyone. Today I am bringing you a review of the TacLife USB tester. This is the box it comes in. And there's really nothing on it, as you can see. <clears throat> and inside the box, you get the instruction manual, which is pretty re easy to read and understand and in multiple languages. Get a warranty card. And in some bubble wrap, you get the tester itself. And this is basically what it looks like. Nice and simple. All made out of plastic. It has the USB plug on one end, which is connected to the unit by a nice short little cable. And you get a female USB plug on the other. It's all made out of plastic as you can see and it's a one button design now this will me measure voltage amps and milliamp hours it can handle up to three amps and three to nine volt charging speeds it stores up to ten sets of information so say if you want to do compare some devices together so on number one you would test one device, flip it over to number two, test another device, and then you can go back and forth and see the numbers on those. So that's a pretty cool idea in there. This does contain a CW3002D chip on the inside, and it also supports QC 2.0 and 3.0 high voltage testing. There's also a too low or too high voltage warning on this. And you also get 24, a 24-month 24 warranty. There's also three modes. Direct mode, quick charge mode, and disconnected mode. But I think all that is done automatically and you don't have to worry about switching between the modes. I think that CW chip that's inside switches automatically for you so that's very nice and for purposes of this video I'm just going to use as the power source a power so, bank. So I do have a few devices here that I'm going to use <clears throat> along with the power bank. Got my Nexus 7 and my Lumia 640 smartphone and I have also a few cables that I'm going to use in this video to demonstrate the USB tester from TacLife. As you see with nothing plugged in it's already reading 5.09 volts. Let me clear the amps out of there. Now the first thing I'm going to use is a short cable. First thing I'm going to do is plug it into my phone. And, as you can see, my phone is drawing in 4.96 volts and 0.443 amps. And that's on the short cable. So let's switch to a different cable. This one is a nice flat cable angle free and this cable as you see it's quite different power draw 4.97 at 0 0.029 amps let's try a different cable Okay, so let's switch up cables one more time. This time I'm using a cable from MPAL. Turn it 
Turn my power bank on one more time. And let's see how much power this one is drawing out of here. 4.92 volts at 0.46 amps. A lot better than the other cables, right? So let's. what happens if I switch up devices? Let's go to my Nexus 7 here. Start off with the small cable. And turn my power bank on again. Come on, turn on. There we go. Alright, I got my power bank on and with this small cable this that's what this uh, Nexus 7 is pulling. 5.04 amps or volts at 0.026 amps. So now let's change out the cable again to this nice flat cable. And there is a reason for this that I'm showing you. And I'll get to that in a moment once we get past the last cable. And this one is, as you can see, it's 5.03 volts at point 11 amps. Oh, now it's jumping up to 26. Very inconsistent here. Let's give it a few more seconds to make sure it's not going to jump again. And as you can see, it's jumping around. Keep this in mind. And let's get rid of that cable. And now I'm going to connect to my MPOW cable. Nice and plugged in. And give this a few seconds to get going. And as you can see, it's pretty consistent right now. 4.99 volts at 0 0.026 amps. That's what the Nexus 7 is pulling in. And there's two good things about this USB tester. Uh, number one, it can tell you how much power your devices are pulling, not just from a power bank, but you know when you have it plugged into the wall. So it can tell you that information. And the second bit of information this thing can tell you is basically how good your cables are. As you've seen, just go back look at the numbers that's why I made sure I'm stayed at the numbers so far this cable here from MPOW is delivering the most power to my devices compared to that small one or even that flat wired cable so basically with this cable here from MPOW I think I paid, uh, actually it came in a dual pack. There was two of these from MPOW. And I think I paid 10 bucks for two of these. This one here, this green flat cable, I paid like two or three dollars at a store because I needed a cable. Mine, I lost mine and I needed one real quick just to start uh, charging up my phone at the time. So. I got that one. This cable, I forgot what device it came with, but it came with one of my devices. And by far this was the second best cable out of the ones I've shown you today. So what's the conclusion? This tester, this USB tester from TacLife, not only can it tell you what how much power your device is pulling but can also tell you how good your cables are or how crappy your cables are so this is definitely something 
that uh, you may want to get, if for anything, just to test out all your cables to make sure that you got a good one that's actually charging your devices. Until the next video, you have a fantastic day.